Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, I've talked to you about what are you gonna do when it's time to get home and it's just you? What are you gonna do when it's time to get home and it's you and like a six, eight, nine, you know, 10 year old, something like that. But I've also planned to get home with my infant. So I bring you the Get Home Infant Kit. This is my freaking phenomenal infant kit that I use in preparation for a get home situation for my infant. Now listen, this may seem like overkill, but for me, this is something that I just find extremely handy. Now, before we dive into that, man, if you're the type of person that likes man cave stuff, you like anything that has to do with prep, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We like talking about that stuff around here. Now listen, I told you guys before, you've seen my videos for my get home bag, this is my most recent video for my get home bag. I'm gonna make sure I link that up for you below. You've also seen my video for my Urban Fight Kit. Both of these kits are in my truck at all times. Depend on what's going on is the one that I grab. If I'm out with my kiddo, I'm out with my son, some type of civil unrest, boom, grab the Urban Assault Kit make it happen. If it's, you know, we're running out of gas, we're hunting, EMP, something like that, grab a get home bag. Whatever I need to do to quickly, you know, retrofit these, if my wife is with me, we can make some stuff happen as well. I mean, but in actuality, what's the plan if you're with your infant, if you're with your toddler? This is my plan. I bring you the Go, the Go Veer Cruiser. This is by Veer. This is a company that makes a lot of baby gear. But this specific device is phenomenal, man. Now, I'm gonna put chapter markers down below, label different things you wanna skip ahead. Maybe you don't wanna look at this, maybe you don't wanna look at that. First, let's talk about my actual bag that I use for the purposes of get home for my son. So this bag itself is made by Tactical Baby Gear. You can see here, Tactical, Tactical Baby Gear. Now, this stuff here on this side, it has, the bag itself is made of 1050D. It's like a nylon, so it's really durable. It has molly webbing all on the outside of the pad bag. You have morale patch areas, uh, hook and loop patch areas. You can put morale patches or labels or whatever you want on the outside. In this pouch, I keep antibacterial body wipes. Now, of course, there's diaper wipes in here. I also keep hand and face wipes in here. There are diaper wipes in here, but the reason I keep antibacterial wipes in here is because, I mean, they kill bacteria. Diaper wipes are good for cleaning the tuchus. These are really good for cleaning germs and all that good stuff. In this pocket here is a beanie. Also a change of clothes is in here. This top pocket, the only thing I keep in here is a Phoenix LD02. Now, I like to keep flashlights in all my kits. This one has a UV light, right? And the UV light is good for seeing any of those, you know, if he urinates or if he were to poop or something like that, I could see it if it were on his clothes. So that's what that's good for. Uh, make sure I'm not putting dirty clothes on top of clean clothes. This is just an a, uh, item specifically for him, diaper rash cream, gripe water, which is good for getting rid of gas, a rectal thermometer, some Tylenol, all that good stuff in here specifically for baby. Here on this side, this is an emergency blowout kit. Basically all this thing is is a, is a dry bag, right? So if he has an is issue and I need to change his outfit, I can take this bag out. I can put the soiled outfit into this bag and then put the bag into the main part of the um, uh, actual kit itself versus just putting dirty clothes in top, on top of this or, or carrying around a grocery bag. So on this side, this pocket here, change the outfit, extra burp cloths, all that good stuff. It has YKK zippers, dual zippers on every single compartment so you can zip it from both sides. This is diaper wipes, right? So this is diaper wipes, you pull this here, you can access your diaper wipes, refill them here on this side. This is Tactical Baby Gear's version of like a a cooler, right? So you can, it has a handle here if you wanna remove it from the bag. All of this is connected via Molly webbing. So here, double zippers, you can keep uh, a cold pack inside. Right now I have a bottle of water in here. I'll put more bottles of water if I need it to. On this side is a bottle 
this is the bottle that he specifically uses it's empty and then i you know if i want to put my own drinks in there i can here on this side this is the formula that he drinks now these are ready-made bottles he doesn't drink these i would have to pour these into the bottle that you saw on the side of bag over there but now i have you know um, six ready-made bottles that i can pour he can drink while we're on the go but hey guess what maybe that's not enough then i do have his actual formula that he has i take that water mix this up now I, can, I have up to 20 additional bottles. Now 20 additional bottles may sound like a lot, but what if it's an EMP or a lightning strike, we're stuck somewhere for a while and like I need to be able to feed him and keep him comfortable. That's why I like to bring such a large amount. Going back inside the bag here. So speaking of a large amount, I do bring quite a few diapers with me, some more burp cloths. But what if we're somewhere for a long time and I didn't anticipate it, right? I don't have a whole box of diapers here with me. Maybe I'll be able to trade them with my bartering kit that you guys have seen. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up below. I also keep cloth diapers and safety pins in here. I've never used these before, but my intention is to keep my son comfortable. So I will bust these out if I need to wash them in a creek or whatever the case may be. We're going to make it happen. There's also a changing pad in here just in case I need to be able to do some changes. Getting back to the Veer Cruiser, this thing is big, right? I mean, I had to freaking zoom out on the camera just to get this whole thing into frame. But I just want to show you all the options that you have with this cruiser. So first off about the cruiser, this is made by a company. Once again, I say uh, Veer. I bought this specifically. This is the Tactical Baby Gear model. So the only big difference with the Tactical so the main big difference with the tactical baby gear model, it does have molly webbing and hook and loop patches on the outside so you can attach additional items. You don't have to keep it, uh, you know, tactical baby gear. We're gonna talk about what I keep on the outside. So here, this is a pouch that I purchased on Amazon. In here, I keep an extra change of clothes. I also keep a humongous rain poncho you've seen in my other kits i mentioned emergency ponchos the reason i have this big poncho is that if i need to hold him or comfort him he can fit under this poncho with me and he can still breathe while wearing that poncho so on the back of the cruiser itself you can see that i bought this additional attachment where you can put like you can take this entire thing into a grocery store or something like that and if you, you know, if you want to put some milk, eggs, whatever, you can put that stuff into this back part. I keep this part for his sleep system. So this entire cruiser, you can take the seats out. You can actually put a sleep system into the cruiser itself and he can lay down, he can go to sleep. This also has a mosquito net and a rain net or rain guard. So it goes over the entire cruiser. Once this is taken out, there is a big empty portion in here. I can throw whatever I wanted to. And it does have a little bit of uh, mosquito protection just to keep items uh, from getting bugs in there and keep items from flopping out while you're walking. So imagine he and I are, you know, we're going along. We've been walking a few miles. He gets restless in his thing. I do have a baby carrier that I will be able to use just in case I need to take him out and you know this has molly webbing on it as well but now i can uh carry him put him under that poncho if it starts raining so i keep all that stuff back here now the main part of the actual cruiser itself is actually pretty big so if we look here um it, it's designed to seat two kids my six-year-old fits in here pretty easily let's talk about this attachment on top this is a car seat attachment so you buy the specific car seat attachment for whatever brand car seat you got. You can slap your car seat in here, you know, and you can use it um, for quite a while. I'm going to take this thing off. You can also use it in the back if you want it to. You know, you can have the baby face in the other direction, whatever you see fit. This does come with a tray. So I use this tray when him and I ruck and I put little snacks on here. I put his bottle or in here, apple juice, water, whatever, just to keep him busy. So it has, um, you know, plastic uh, seats. Air flows through here to keep the back, the kids back from sweating. Has little seat belts built in. I opted to purchase the padding from 
veer only because I wanted to have a better a seat belt with more padding and have padding in the back of the seat. When him and I ruck, you know, we can go up to two hours sometimes and I just want him to be comfortable. I also bought two of these um, sun, sun shades, right? So this is a uh, sunshade. It has a, like the, the obviously the tactical look to it, the camouflage. But the big thing about this is this is, has the zippers so that I can attach the mosquito netting I talked about. I can attach the rain guards, all that good stuff. So this handle up here um, has a really good foot brake, really good wheels. I've taken this thing into sand through the woods. I've taken this thing on gravel and rocks. It does not do well in ruts. So it does not do good in ruts like in sand. It does not do well in ruts and mud. But those are the only things that have stopped me so far. I haven't had any major issues with anything else. You can release this handle here, make the handle go down further if you need to. So if you wanted it more of a um, kind of like a 60 degree angle or almost 45 degree angle, you can do that. Um, or you can bring it back up to the normal position. Whichever way you feel comfortable, you can adjust that up or down. It comes with some cup holders and all the other crazy stuff. Let's talk about this side here. So on this side, I have another pouch. This is more wipes, also more diapers, just in case um, I don't have enough or if all I wanna do is just, you know, this is also my daily driver. So I, I use this in stores. Oftentimes I won't even take this bag out of the truck. I'll just take the cruiser into the, the uh, into the store because it has a change of clothes, it has diapers, all that good stuff. You know, I put some morale patches on here just to keep it cool. Uh, of course, you got the Molly webbing. You can add whatever you want to. It doesn't have to be tactical baby gear. Um, you can add whatever, whatever you see fit to the outside of this thing. One other thing I want to attach to the outside just to show you here. This is a pop-up tent. Now, I'm going to show you what this tent looks like, but this tent actually attaches to the outside of the cruiser here. So now you have a pop-up tent, which is big enough to fit me in it, to fit my son in it. Hell, I could fit, actually fit my entire family in this tent. I'm gonna pop this tent up just to show you guys that you can purchase this. Let's pull this bad boy out, show you the actual pop-up feature. So when you pull it out, it includes stakes and all that. I keep the stakes at the very top of the bag and I don't even really pull those out. Um, but the tent comes up, what you can do, pull it out, unsnap it. Within 10 seconds, you have a fully functioning tent. This tent has mosquito netting. It only has one way of entry here in the front. We use this thing all the time, but the biggest thing about this is, you know, now we have the option to take a break if we're you know getting home or bugging out we have a quick way to just deploy a shelter i can create a windbreak with tarps that are in my get home bag the bottom of that tent does not have any padding so this is an actual pad that deploys the same amount of time that goes right underneath that thing so if you're in grass plus this pad super comfortable setup i'm going to show you how fast you can actually put this tent away so same concept you saw how quickly it came together just pull on these handles you actually take it, you flip it upside down, just like that, the tent is ready to be put away. I mean, so I don't think I have, I've ever seen a tent that can just be whipped together so quickly as I have with this tent. And I really like that. What more can I say? This seems to be a pretty comprehensive, you know, get home kit, get home bag for your toddler, your baby, your infant, your newborn. This can be used for all stages. Now, let's talk about pricing. You know, this is not the cheapest option in the world. I won't lie, when it comes to my kids and when it comes to my personal gear, I tend to not mess around when it comes to pricing and gear and all that other stuff. This cruiser is $699 as outfitted from Tactical Baby Gear. I think it might be a little bit cheaper on govier.com. I'll leave links below. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought all this stuff with my own money. You know, so you do get the Molly Webbing, you get the camouflage look. I mean, if you don't need all that, you can probably get it for a cheaper price. But that just comes with the actual cruiser and I think just the tray. 
Might not even come with the tray. I think it might just be the cruiser. I did have to buy, you know, I bought two of these sun, uh, sun shades. I bought the seat cushion. I had to buy that tent and the pad for the tent. Of course, I bought the attachments, diaper bags. This uh, compartment in the very back here is an additional, I think 60 bucks. Let's just put it like this, all in, I probably spent around, you know, $1,300 or so for my son's SHTF bug out get home kit. My wife's also pregnant, so this is also gonna go for our next kid. My six year old fits in here, so even if she were walking with me, we could use this thing. So it may sound pricey, but this is gonna be practicable. I mean, if there's an EMP, a lightning strike to my vehicle, you know, if I don't have cell phone signal where my wife can come pick me up, we need to get home, something like that. I want high quality gear, something that's gonna be able to go in multiple environments. That's why I opted to go with this. You know, so listen, that includes all this without even including any of the stuff that's in the actual get home bag itself. So, I mean, what do you think, man? Is this something that you would be interested in doing? Maybe you have nieces, nephews, grandkids, kids of your own. At the end of the day, you have to consider what's gonna be your plan to not only get home for yourself, for your six-year-old, your eight-year-old, but for your infant, your grandkids, stuff like that. You gotta take that into account. That's the type of thing that I'm doing. So, you know, listen, if you like stuff like this, just click, click here, man. I'm gonna put some videos up specifically of other bags that you might be able to get some ideas from. Enjoy that. If you're not a subscriber yet, man, make sure you hit that button, man. Join the battalion. We would love to have you. Welcome back for everybody else. We'll speak soon.